Welcome to another edition of Mac Break Studio. And I'm pleased to have in the studio with me, Mr. Taz Goldstein, producer, director, technologist, and purveyor of Handheld Hollywood, where you can get all the latest information on the latest gadgets to help your productions. How are you, Steve? Good to see you, Taz. Good Glad to have you. you here. Thanks. So, uh, Taz and I actually go back, way back. Way back. To the days of early uh, America Online. You've got mail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, used to, we used to lecture around at trade shows together, talking to uh, different groups and training for technology that's laughable by today's standards. Right, the Radius Video Vision Studio, if you guys can remember that. We used to yeah. email back and forth, how do we get this thing to work? And we were <laughs> doing like a, a high video, at, right. you know. Is yours 4,000 degrees? Because mine is 4,000 degrees. <laughs> exactly, a four gig uh, drive was like six grand back then. <laughs> I spent, I spent, uh, I spent $16,000 on, I think it was about 10 gigs or something? I know, something it's, it's insane. Yeah. So <laughs> here we are, things have changed obviously yep, since that time. And now we're, you know, we're running our entire productions off laptops <laughs> and uh, iPads. And uh, what Taz is going to walk through us uh, today is this awesome app for Final Cut Pro. If you ever had to log your clips in Final Cut and you don't really want to do it on a computer, you actually want to sit on your couch and kick back and actually do it on your iPad app um, Taz is a great app to show us, so, uh, so this take a is, look. This is called Playhead. It's for the iPhone and the iPad. We're showing it on the iPad today just so you can get a nice big picture of it. Um, but it provides very basic functionality, but it lets you remotely control most of the standard functions, the basic functions. You're not going to be cutting from this app. Just going to be controlling. Just controlling. Just controlling. So just by way of example, let's say we Okay, I'm in Final Cut, so it has to be launched and locked, You have to correct? be launched. You also have to download a client application. Right. Uh, I believe it's called Playhead Agent. Okay. And you just run that in the background of the computer. Sure. Um, just, just floats in the background, doesn't do much. All it's really doing is interpreting the signals wirelessly from here and basically hitting the correct key, uh, key commands there. Excellent. So not a whole lot of voodoo going on, but it's just very elegant. So basically, uh, I'll go through this really quickly. Up here, you can choose either the viewer or the timeline to control. Sure. Mm -hmm. So we'll start by viewing the timeline, controlling the timeline. And then just to get the ball rolling there, just, just hit play. Oh, look at that. Controlling the timeline with your iPad. Right. Wirelessly controlling it. You can stop. You can rewind. Look at that. Fast forward, of course. And you've also got other functions down here, too. While you're rolling, you can actually set markers. So I'll go set a mark there, set a mark there. You can then use these controls right here to navigate back and forth between your markers. Now, can you uh, actually tag markers there? Actually, add you, can't, you can't tag markers here, right. but you can tag subclips. And that's my favorite use of this application is using it for subclipping. Subclipping. Right, for instance, if you've, got, if you've rolled your camera the whole day, mm -hmm. and you've just got hours upon hours of, of footage, you don't wanna have to sit there at your keyboard the whole day. Sure. So I like taking little breaks and sitting back on my sofa and using this to subclip. That's let great. Me, let me now, I can, I can yeah. actually see Final Cut up on a big screen, like, kind of like the football game. And then you just sit back with your iPad and you're just, and that's what are you actually, doing? I'm subclipping my, uh, my... That's another great use yeah. for this, actually, is if you have uh, clients sitting behind you on a sofa and you turn your display into a full screen display, mm -hmm. you can actually sit back with them or even let them control it, let your client control it wirelessly from the sofa behind oh, you. Oh, that's just too cool. Yeah, isn't that great? So now, <clears throat> because we're going to subclip, that means we're going to do this in the viewer. Do I have to actually go in and load a clip? from the browser into the yeah, viewer so you first? Have to, you you uh, manually bring the okay. clip in here from Final Cut using any of the, the normal ways. Actually, if I'm really lazy, I can use the iPhone app, you know, like a mouse. The, the, the remote mouse. Yeah, remote mouse, <laughs> and then I could do it if I don't really want to touch Final Cut. That is the quintessential <laughs> lazy. That's fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this clip. Um, it's a fairly long, it's a, this looks like, well, it's a three second. Let's open a little bit longer clip. Okay. This one's, uh, looks like a minute long. Yeah, Less I mean, a, for, for tiny short clips, it yeah, doesn't make much yeah, sense. Yeah, I'm trying to find a, a long clip here. Can you, oh, look, there's an in and out point. Can you clear that in and out marker uh, from there? You can, well, more or less, yeah. One of the functions here is to select an entire clip. Okay. And that's right here. You click that, Ooh. it'll set you in and out. And if now, you're doing now this in a longer duration. Exactly. And if you're doing that in the timeline, it'll select, it'll basically put in and out points just around that clip in the timeline. Should we try it? Let's try it. All right, I'm going to select the timeline. And I have a clip, playhead's over a clip. Right. And if you're not already in the timeline, you can hit it. If you hit it and the screen goes away like that. Oh, that scares me. It doesn't matter. All it really does, okay. all it's okay. really doing is it's hitting a certain key, right. key command. Okay. So you press it again, it comes right back. Got it. So now if I were to hit the select clip, Ooh. you can see just hitting that once now has selected the region of just that clip. That's fantastic. Yeah, very, very cool stuff. Okay, so let's go back to the viewer. I'll go click in the viewer. Right, and uh -huh. you don't have to actually, you can click Oh, that's here. right. You, have a yep, view. you can yep. switch mm -hmm. there. And again, if uh -huh. it goes away, you just press it back, comes right back. Excellent. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you a sub clip. So you start, let's say, actually, I'm going to go ahead back to the, to the beginning of the clip, okay. since I'm kind of into the clip sure. right here. brings me back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and hit play. And uh, I want to go ahead and set an endpoint. This is your endpoint mark right there. Got it. And then that is your outpoint mark right there. Click that. I'll go ahead and stop it. 
and hit the sub clip button. You actually don't have to stop at the sub clip. You can just, you know, just keep button. going and they'll just, you keep, just keep going, right? But fantastic. I'll go ahead and stop it just so we don't hear that sure. sound playing. Go ahead and sub, hit the sub clip button. And now it gives you an opportunity to name it whatever you want. Well, look at that. A whole sub clip naming um, uh, page came up yeah, on your yeah, iPad. This, 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 this interface is dedicated just to sub clipping. Right and you can now. actually label them and actually yeah. make them a color. Yeah, so let's go ahead and make it red. And we'll call this uh, Mac Break. And we'll hit done. And uh, because Final Cut Pro is infinitely smart, it knows that uh, it's, it alphabetizes it. So, right, right, right. So there we have our Mac Break. And notice, everyone, it's red yep. and it's got the name. That's right. Yeah, pretty amazing. For uh, <laughs> I'd like to point out again that this is a dollar ninety nine. I know <laughs> <laughs> this app it truly is amazing. I know, and I you know I it takes a lot to make me you know go wow for that. But you know, dollar ninety nine, you can sit how, on your couch. It, right, it's right. just that's fantastic. fantastic. Um, so let's see. There's one other option. Okay. I, this I, I want to show you. That I absolutely love, uh, and that's when you're playing, and you're playing uh, for. Uh, oh, let's switch back to the timeline. Okay. And you're playing for a client. Okay. Just hit this full screen button. Ah, and you can make it go full screen. Right, now you can present, you can switch back and forth from your full screen mode to your standard mode just by tapping there. So again, if you want to sit back and relax, you can very easily switch back and forth. Man, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's terrific. It's made by uh, Wind Up Toys, a company that makes this. And I spoke to them just before coming over. They mm -hmm. said they're working on a new version that's going to be um, more, uh, more um, graphically uh, presentable for an iPad. This is obviously an iPhone blown up. But right. they're making an iPad for It's mostly now. about function, not as much form. Exactly. So, but it's great. Anyway, I think uh, that's fantastic for the, those of you Final Cut uh, Pro users out there that have iPads, $1.99, uh, fantastic bargain. Um, Taz, thanks for coming in and, and showing us this wonderful app. Yeah, it's my pleasure. And again, we want to thank you for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio. We'll see you next time.